Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop right into it, Pisces. Let's see what's coming towards you. Let's see what is coming towards Pisces today. What is the energy coming towards Pisces at this time? All right, love and light. Bless it be. All right, Pisces, let's collect this energy that's coming towards you. All right, so we have the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Swords. Yes, Pisces, this feels all right. Okay, so with this Three of Pentacles, okay, who in your life is asking you to be open to cooperation, right? So who wants to work with you? Somebody's coming towards you that wants you to open up Pisces to work with you, probably on something that you love to do, okay? And with the nine of cups, it tells me that this is this is going to be good for you, right? This is going to bring you some form of satisfaction, right? It may have with the knight of pentacles may have taken a long time for this to come to fruition for you, but it's definitely happening. And with this knight of pentacles, it lets me know that this is something that's going to work, right? Because the knight of pentacles is slow moving. Very good strategizer, knows the blueprint of things. Hell, he built it, right? So he's not making a move on it. He's not going to show anybody until he's absolutely sure it's going to be a success, right? So whoever's coming towards you, Pisces, is somebody that believes in you. Somebody that believes in you, right? The queen of wands, somebody who sees the good in you, who sees the talent in you, who sees the potential in you. Right. But you got to ask yourself, what are you passionate about? Right. And, and are you ready to create it with the four of swords here? This is the energy of healing. Right. This is the energy of getting that rest that you need. The energy of 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 calm rejuvenation. Right. So Pisces, this was coming towards you. Somebody wants to work with you. It's going to be a great fulfillment for you, right? This is something you've been, you're going to love doing, right? This person believes in you. They believe in your talent. They believe in your skills, right? They see it in you. They know you willing to put in the work, right? This is somebody who can keep you calm, right? This is somebody who knows that you need to be in your creative space, Okay, let's see what's crossing all this energy, Pisces. And it's the Ten of Wands. Right? Life has become overwhelming. Something in your life is overwhelming. Right? And, and you're about to break free from it. That's all this Ten of Wands is representing. You've come a long way and now it's your time. So this is the energy that's coming towards you, Pisces. I really feel like it's it's about to be a big change. I really feel like you're about to get involved in something that's going to take you to the next level. And you're actually going to be happy and comfortable doing it, right? But it's going to be with somebody else. And I can, I get, I just feel, I get that energy that, that you're not used to working with people that closely or something like that. But at the end of the day, somebody coming and they want to work with you, right? Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups, right? So you got some choices to make. A lot of them, right? You got a lot of choices to make. And I think these choices going to have an emotional effect on you. Okay? When this person comes, it's not... You know, everything going to be a challenge, right? When this person comes, look, the devil in reverse. You're going to have to release a lot of people. 
right? That, that, that you care about. And I'm not saying cut them off totally, but this devil in reverse is all about releasing, breaking free from something, changing, moving past the situation, leveling up, right? Coming out of confusion, knowing your place, knowing what you are doing, right? Because this three of pentacles is a stable energy. This is somebody who wants to work with you, but I do believe that there are conditions, Certain people you may be around, this person probably don't jig with. It's the Knight of Pentacles. They don't deal with everybody. They don't want to be around everybody, and they not with all of that. So a lot of you gonna have to detach from something in order to work with this person, okay? And it's gonna be worth your while here with the nine nine of cups, right? It's gonna be worth your while. It, it, you you not gonna lose in this situation, right? You are gonna be stress free here with the nine of swords in reverse, right? This feels good. This feels comfortable. You don't you don't worry about this person. When they come, you're going to feel that sense of calm. You're not going to be worried about this person trying to play you, deceive you or anything, but the energy I do get, they 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 raw and uncut. They blunt. They straight to the point, right? They're going to tell you what it is and what you need to do to achieve whatever it is y'all are going to start working on together, right? So it means you're going to have to cut loose some of that toxicity that's around you. That's all it means because this person, you know, has a zero tolerance for it. That's what I feel. But but you're going to be happy with this, right? This is going to be fulfilling to you, right? This is, this is the start of a foundation. This is the beginning of you actually achieving something, you know, that's worth building on, right? So this this the type of thing that brings you stability, right? So let's see who what is this um what is this knight of uh pinnacles? Okay. And it's the five of wands, right? This person is competition. This person is straight competition to the rest. To whatever you trying to work on or build on, right? Whoever doing whatever you doing, this person coming in your life with that competition, they going to show you how to operate in ways you may not have thought of, right? They finna help you tap into that creativity of yours, right? They, they going to put you in that competitive state. They going to make you feel like I got to win. I want to win. I want this. Right. That wine family, that 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 pinnacle, that structure that I know what to do. I already got it planned out. And this is how we're going to kill the competition or whatever it is. Pisces, you may be working on something a little bit, something that's going to set you up for real, something that's going to make you real happy. Right. So this night of pinnacles coming with competition. The skill, right? The, the the nine of pentacles, right? This is the comp type of competition that's going to give you that self-sufficiency that you need, right? So Pisces, working with others may be very beneficial for you. You don't have to do everything on your own. I feel like this is the universe sending you somebody in that's going to help you elevate, that's going to help you with your projects or help you open that business or show you the ropes. It's like maybe you're going to be taking some type of course and you're going to, whatever it is, have an instructor that 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 build a, you build a relationship with them beyond the class or, you know, something, somebody from somewhere is coming in and they're going to show you how to get your shit together. But you're going to have to be dedicated to it, right? You're going to have to really cut off the drinking, the smoking, whatever you be doing, right? The wrong people you be around, they want your mind clear and strong, right? So it's like you're going to have to release a lot of people that you love. And it's not a forever thing. It's just going to be to better yourself, Right. And you're going to feel good when you do it. I'm telling you, you ain't going to even be worried about nothing but really building that strong foundation. Right. This is all about building stability and making money somehow. Right. And somebody got the blueprint like like you got the talent and the skill and I got the money behind it or I got this. I know how to structure this situation. I know how to bring it to life. I know how to compete against others. And we're going to have this self-sufficiency, this stability, right? So it's like the queen of wands. I see your talent. I see your skills. I know you put in that work. I know that you're the one to do this, 
You're very confident in what you do, Pisces, and they see that. That's all I'm saying. You confident in what you do and this person sees it, right? And they think you cute at the same time. They think you cute. Ten of Cups, right? So this person gets fulfillment out of it too. So, what, what, but with this person, it's like... It's like you like complete their happiness. This this is their they're doing for their own satisfaction as well as yours. Right? And I feel like this person from that course you took or you know that that person who gave that lecture, that business manager or like somebody who's skilled in whatever it is you're talented in. Right? It's like you got the talent, the skill, I got the money, the knowledge, right? I know people who know people, but we can't be dealing with them people or or, or that person, right? You want to build something for yourself and I want to build something for myself. Together, we can make something happen. Deal, deal, okay? And that's what this is about. But I, with the Queen of Wands and this Ten of Cups, right? This person knows that you're willing to put in that work, but I, and you're confident in what you do. But I see them feeling a little bit more for you than than just whatever it is they want to work with you on. That's solid. That's real. But throughout the relationship of you guys working together, I think this person may develop feelings for you here. That's what I'm seeing. They think you're cute, sexy, beautiful, whatever. They love your aura and everything about you. Your, you know how you aim for what you want, how you put yourself in positions, how easy it is for you to get in tune with what's right. They like that somewhere, like something like that. This person's going to be developing feelings for you in the long run here. Judgment. Right? So Pisces, wow. And that changed. That went a different direction. Because in the long run, we have um, judgment. Right? And it's like this person's feelings is, is starting to catch their attention on want like their how beautiful Pisces is, right? It's like uh they want to take they're going to want to take this connection to the next level, right? So it may it may be like not only am I your business partner, I want to become your lover. Right? And and it's like with this four of swords, it's like it's okay, right? Cuz it's that rest moment, that peace moment. Right? It's like this person knows how to make you feel safe. They know how to make you feel safe. Okay? And I, I don't know if you know this person already or... No, I, I feel like this is someone you met in some type of class, some type of course, some type of event that, that, that was along the lines of whatever it is you're pursuing. Right? You met this person somewhere. Right, y'all kept in touch, and it was all about the business. It was all about whatever y'all the business, right? But over time, I think this person gonna develop some type of feelings for you. With this four of wands comes the knight of wands, right? And 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 it's like you gonna develop passionate feelings for this person too, because it's so much energy being exchanged, so much good energy. Right, so much in it. It's like y'all got a good relationship, a good friendship. Y'all can work well with each other. Y'all know how to make things happen with each other. Whatever y'all doing is going great, and you happy with that, and they happy with that. It benefits you. It benefits them. Like I said, you got the talent and the skills. I got the finances and the and the uh. I know people, and we, you know, however it goes, right? But through all this working together, through all this building. This person just started checking you out in a different type of way, right? And they want to one day take this to the next level, right? You feel good when you're with this person. You feel relaxed. You feel like there's peace. 
and you put a lot of energy in this person, they put a lot of energy into you. And I think those feelings are turning a little bit passionate. Ooh, what's crossing at the sun, right? So right now or in the future, whenever this was coming towards you, this is going to be the thing, right? This is going to be a big moment in your life, right? One of the happiest moments of your life, one of the most successful moments of your life, right? So the universe is kind of sending somebody in to just, you know, change things around a little bit for you. Look, eh, the wheel of fortune came when I said it. This is definitely the universe sending you someone, Pisces, to help you move forward on that business you want to open up. If you are an entrepreneur and you do this and you do that and you just talented and you got a, a an abundance of a plethora of, of, of skills that can get you paid, right? This is that person who's going to help you come in and structure all this and show you how to get paid off your natural talents and skills, right? That works best for you. That works best for them. But throughout this connection, throughout this co-working together, you know, things are going to change. I feel like this person's feelings for you are going to change and they're going to want to start a, a relationship of some sort with you, right? This is that energy of the four of swords. This is that healed energy, that healing energy. This person makes you feel good. Right. Uh, you not like that, but like make you feel good as a as a friend, as a person, you comfortable with this person, you at peace. You feel like you could talk to him. Everything about this comes natural. The energy flows great without throughout this reconnection. Right. And, and like I said, I just feel like this somebody the universe sending in just to support you to have your back on many levels. Right. So it's a what changes are entering your life and how are they a part of your destiny, right? So this is something that's faded. This is something that was supposed to happen. So, you know, it don't matter how long you've been trying to do what you've been trying to do. The right person is about to enter your life and help you put all these things into perspective. And just possibly by the end of it, they may want to build something a little bit more with you, depending on the situation. That's a possibility. So what's crossing all this energy is the seven of swords, right? And this say what situation in your life do you need to protect and cherish, right? So make sure that you stay safe. Make sure that you pay attention to the red flags throughout the whole de whole ordeal. And if that day should come to where this person may want to take it to the next level, it's going to be your choice to keep it professional or go ahead and move forward. Whatever you do, just make sure you know what you're doing and make sure you're aware of anything that may have been alarming to you throughout the situation. I feel like this seven of swords is just uh, to be cautious, right? Just because everything's going well, maybe this was that type of relationship where it was only supposed to be for the this business part. Maybe you are were never supposed to, you know, become intimate with this person or, you know, have that type of relationship with them. Maybe the only type of relationship you're supposed to have is this business relationship. Because sometimes, you know, we get involved with people when it starts to change other things, right? But, you know, I, that's the energy. It's a choice, right? Depending on the situation. So make sure you're paying attention and knowing what you're doing. If you feel like you don't want to cross those boundaries with this person as far as becoming intimate and really catch a real life feelings, then don't, right? If that's what you feel. If you feel like, yeah, I want to go ahead and pursue this. We got this great thing going on. We supported each other. There's a lot of energy and chemistry that flows through us. And hey, you know, boom, right? But I do feel like this is someone the universe is sending to you, right? But the free will is yours. So make sure you make the right decisions, right? Make sure that this doesn't turn out to be something deceptive in the long, long, long run, right? Because we did things we were never supposed to do. Right. So you got to know why people come into your life. If it's a professional thing, keep it professional. Right. If it's something else, then it could be something else. So sometimes we just got to be aware of what we doing and, and, and not forget where we started and what things truly are. 
people do change, emotions do change, right? But that's the energy, Pisces. I don't want to rant on and on and on. So let's get a divine timing. Let's get a divine time and see, you know, when this may be coming forth to you. Let go of it all for now, right? So the universe is saying, don't even worry about it. It's coming, okay? So let it go. Don't think about it too much. Don't think about it too much, too much, too much, too much. All right, Pisces, let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Okay, Pisces, we have the first chakra, and this the base chakra, and this one is relevant to self-sufficiency, right? So there is stability within this situation, okay? By finding material security without being materialistic, I will gain satisfaction, stability, and inner strength. I am resourceful. I put in the effort to be responsible for supplying fundamental needs in my life, such as shelter, water, food, and clothing. I take responsibility for where I find myself now in life as I move forwards. I get in touch with and trust my inner wisdom, which tells me that I will be provided for with all I need. Right? So self-sufficiency is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. It's always be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.